In this flowchart, we'll illustrate the use of procedures instead of subcharts as a subprogram to main. I'm going to use the same steps that I used in the subchart example, and that is I'm going to calculate pay using rate and hours. So the first thing I want to do is to establish a variable for pay. So I've used an assignment box, and I'm going to set pay equal to zero to initialize it. Then I want the user to input both the hours and the rate. So I need an input box and a prompt. Enter the hours. And I'll store that in a variable called hours. And then, since I still have the same tool, right under it, click. And I have another input box where I want the user to enter the rate. And I'll store that one in rate. So that takes care of all my variables. Now I'm going to actually make the calculation in a procedure. It is very similar to a subchart, except in this case, pay, hours, and rate are local to main. And any other sub procedure, um, they aren't recognized. So I have to communicate to those procedures the values that are stored in those variables. The process for creating a procedure is the same as a subchart. Just place your mouse on the main tab and right click, but choose Add Procedure. And you must be running in intermediate mode, which means you have to come up here and change the mode if, if you don't see Add Procedure as an option. And this dialog box is a little more complex than the subchart because I have to give it a name. So I'm going to call it Calc Pay, just as I did in the other example. But now I have to include parameters. So the first one is going to be my hours. And hours is only coming into this procedure. It already has a value in it, so only need a check mark in this box for input. Now, rate is going to be exactly the same. It's coming into my procedure calc pay with a value already stored in it. Both hours and rate will only be used in the procedure but not changed. However, the third parameter, pay, actually comes in as a zero, but will go out changed based on the calculation of hours times rate. So I have to put a check mark in the output box. So what we're doing here is establishing communication between the main program and the procedure calc pay. Hours and rate is, are both one-way communication. The values just come in and they're used in the procedure. Pay, on the other hand, is two-way communication because it comes in as a zero and will exit or output changed based on the calculation. So I'm finished with my dialog and I can click OK, which gives me my second tab up here for Calc Pay. Main, of course, is still there, but Calc Pay is now on a separate tab. Also in the start box, notice that there is a parameter list for the parameters that I indicated in that dialog. So hours and rate are coming in, pay comes in but goes out changed. So two-way communication for pay. I only need one symbol in here because the actual calculation is the same. It is that pay is equal to rate times hours. Then back to the main, where I need to call that procedure. Otherwise, it doesn't know how to calculate the pay. So I'm going to get a call statement here and drop it down. And when I edit it, I do have to put in a little bit more information than I did for the subchart. So the name of the procedure, calc pay, and then an open parentheses. As soon as I type that open parentheses, the text down here turned from red to black, and it indicates that I'm on the first parameter in the list. I don't ever have to put in the words in and out. So all I do is put in the parameters in the correct order, separated by commas. And as I type a comma, the next parameter down there is highlighted or bolded. So comma and then pay will be highlighted, but I just type the word pay. You never have to put in the in and out. The computer knows which direction that communication is taking place. So now I just need an output symbol to actually output the total pay. So total pay is, and again, a dollar sign for a monetary value, and concatenate pay. So it's very similar to the subchart program, except that we are communicating the information through what we call a parameter list. And hours, rate, and pay in the call statement are sometimes called arguments. They're actual values stored in there when that call is made. 
We want to use local variables as much as possible and avoid the use of global variables because you get some strange side effects when you use global variables and it's much harder for multiple programmers to put something together if everyone is using global variables. We want to have each of our sub-programs or subroutines stand alone basically. So now I'm ready to execute this and I'm going to get the hours first. So we'll say that this week we worked 40 hours and then I want to get the rate and the rate is 18.50 so 18.5 then it calls calc pay and executes the statement to calculate the pay and then it prints it out. 